this training series, we're putting together this three-part series where we're looking at the new hose and nozzle package that's showing up on the Pierce engines that are rolling out here in the city of Dallas. You know, in part one, we wanna look at what are we getting? And then in part two, we're gonna look at, well, how is that different from, say, our, our current setup on our Spartan apparatus? And then in part three, we're gonna be looking at some real practical applications you know, things that uh, the average firefighter that's putting in the work day in, day out here in the city of Dallas, what are some of the things that they need to know or do in relationship to that equipment? Now, as we jump into this, we're looking at hose and nozzles kind of as a package, these things that were married together when they were built or put together um, by the apparatus committee. So our current package when we're talking about our hose consists of Echo 10, with some national hose mixed in there. Okay, now what's important to understand about this is this is built, this was designed, this is marketed as lightweight hose. And we're talking about lightweight hose, we're talking about the actual design build, the construction of the hose itself, right? What we're gonna see as we move over into the new Pierce apparatus is we've swapped out the Echo 10, with a little bit of the national mixed in, okay, for what's called True ID. Okay, and that True ID hose was built, it was manufactured, it's, it's marketed for a very specific purpose, okay? And that's gonna be, it's designed and built for this low pressure, high volume setup. A little bit of clarification, when we're talking about the hose that we're utilizing, we're talking about the hand lines, okay, that, we're, that, that are coming off these apparatus. So, you know, traditionally we've always used the inch and three quarter line and the two and a half inch line, and those are gonna stay the same. Nothing's, nothing's changing in terms of the diameter there. Now, when we're talking about nozzles, you know, what you and I grew up with here in the state of Dallas is gonna be the TFT automatic fog. And as we move over to the new Pierce engines, what you're gonna find is we're gonna be changing that out for an Elkhart cutoff, which is simply just a one and a half inch waterway. It's got a ball gate valve, you know, to cut that water on, cut it off. But what's different here is gonna be that we're gonna give you the ability to use three different tips. You can spin three tips on or off, and that's gonna be a constant gallonage fog. You're gonna have the option for a 7 8 inch smoothbore as well as a 15 16 inch smoothbore. You know, these are both smoothbore options and we're still gonna give you the ability to utilize a fog tip, right? The only difference here, and we'll get more into this when, you know, in part two is this is a constant gallonage whereas this is a constant pressure or an automatic fog nozzle. So there is a difference between these two that we need to be aware of. Now these are all coming off that inch and three quarter line. Now our two and a half inch line, you know, on the Spartan fleet that we have, okay, has typically utilized the smooth bore, but it's been a one and a quarter inch tip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be swapping that out for an inch and an eighth inch tip on the new True ID two and a half inch lines. So this is the new package. This is the new hose and the nozzle package that is part of our, our Pierce engines that are rolling out here in the city of Dallas. And what's important to remember is this was designed as a package. We built this together. So this was designed to be married together. And what you don't wanna see, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna start mixing some of these smoothbore tips with the Echo 10 hose. You know, from personal experience, and, and we'll show you some of this stuff out in the field, you know, this lightweight hose doesn't really play well with this and we shouldn't be mixing these things together. Um, very important. So, you know, part two, we're gonna look at how is it different. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys here for part two.